All right, so this is going to be the second video about how to carve a miter in a CNC project, and we're going to use Vectric to demonstrate it. So first thing we're going to do is just create a new file. It's going to be half an inch thick, 8 inches wide, and 16 inches deep. So let's say, for instance, we want to make just a four-sided box. So in that case, four corners, each corner is 90 degrees, which means you use a 90 degree V bit. So since this material, like I said, is half an inch thick, the way you set up your V-carve is you're going to draw a square wherever you want your miter to be, and then you're going to make sure that your width is equal to double of what the depth of your material is. So in this case, our depth of material is half an inch, so the width of our box is going to be one inch. Apply. Now what we want to do is V-carve it. So we're going to go in here and V-carve. I already have this bit selected. This is the Amana RC457119 degree V-bit. I loaded this from the Amana tool library, which you can get on Amana's website. Basically what we're going to do is make sure that we have our correct 90 degree tool selected. We're not going to use any clearance tools in this case. And we want to make sure our start depth is 0.0 inches and our flat depth is the bottom of the cut, which is 0.5 inches. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that our pass depth is okay. In this case, our pass depth is going to be 0.25 inches, which is fine. And our feed rate is going to be 40 inches a minute, which is also fine. That's going to make for a fairly clean miter. Next thing you do is you go over here, calculate, and it'll demonstrate what it should look like. Then if you go to toolpads, preview all toolpads, you'll see that it v-carved out a miter. It will go all the way through the material. An easier way to show you is I'm going to take this and extend the box above and below our material so that way it doesn't v-carve and leave a little bit of material at the bottom of our miter. So next we'll go back, we'll recalculate the toolpads, toolpads successfully recalculated, then we'll go back to our preview image, toolpads, reset the preview, and then preview all toolpads, and there you go. You set this with the spacing you like five times, and you'll be able to get yourself a nice four-sided box. It's four corners, but I say five times. Why five times? Well, the last part is going to be half the miter. That means the other half of the miter on the other side of your box. That's pretty much all there is to it. I will go ahead and open a project that I do this on all the time. Show you guys how I use it in the real world. So here's our material. Go to toolpads. Preview toolpads. We're going to preview all toolpads. And there you go. So you have one, two, three, four, five miters. Obviously the outside of each miter isn't going to do anything for you. But when you fold the box together, this half of the miter and this half of the miter will touch and it'll work. And then as you can see, I cut off the little bit that could have been left in the bottom of each miter with a profile pass. And I did the same thing up here with this castle parapet profile pass pocket cut thing. That's all there really is to it. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, you can give me an email at alexander.klein143 at gmail.com or reach out to me on any of my social media platforms. Thanks. Have a good day.